today in Lower Manhattan, we learned of a stunning discovery, what investigators believe to be pieces of one of the commercial jets that brought down the World Trade Center, found wedged between two buildings near Ground Zero 11 years after the terrorist attack. This discovery is being treated as a crime scene by the NYPD tonight. New York police released photos of the fragment. Surveyors discovered it wedged between two buildings in Lower Manhattan. Investigators say it has a Boeing identification number. It's about one and a half meters tall and a meter wide. Authorities will try to determine whether the debris is actually from one of the two aircraft flown into the Twin Towers on September 11, 2001. The discovery has people wondering if other remnants from that day could be found in the area. More than 2,700 people died in the attacks. The remains of nearly 40% of the victims weren't recovered. This five-foot piece of metal with a Boeing identification number is believed to be part of the landing gear of one of the planes. It was discovered on Wednesday, wedged between a mosque site and another building. It would have had to fall down exactly, and, you know, it hit at a certain angle that make it go right down. We look to see if there are marks on the wall. It doesn't appear to be marks on the wall. Police in New York have secured the area around where the parts was found by surveyors who were inspecting the Lower Manhattan site of a planned Islamic community center at the time. But questions remain unanswered. Monday morning, uh, the Office of the Chief Medical Examiner will do an examination of the area around the park to see if it's uh, toxic in any way. They will also check to see if there's any human remains uh, at, the, at the site. And then a determination will be made as to how to move the, move the park from that uh, location. 